Started from the bottom, now we're here. What? Started from the bottom of the bird streets, now we're here at the top at Doheny Estates. Welcome to one of the most beautiful houses up here at the end of the cul-de-sac with views that are incredible. That's right, 1860 North Doheny Drive, the Doheny Estates. Let's go check it out. That's my brother, Matt. I'm Josh. This is our newest listing, and he's in a rush to show you the house. Let's go! So the stats on this house are five beds, eight baths. We're looking at about 7,800 square feet. And let me tell you, this one is a stunner. Not only is it done to nines, but you want to know a cool fact Tell about me. this house? Please do. We already sold this house. What? Yeah, we sold it to them and now we get to sell it again. So this house is amazing and I love it from the first time that we saw it. Uh, it was turnkey, never lived in brand new. This is only a one owner house. Yes, and you know, you look around us, we're gonna walk through. They've got so many cool features. I love the welcoming bar. Right as you walk in, everybody gets a cocktail. Look at how the wood is all done with this beautiful pattern. Look, you've got a, a great Hello, host welcome over here. to my house. Yes, <laughs> would you like a drink? Preferably a Starbucks. Here you go, perfect. Yeah, so this is cool. Hey, you know why I like this? Because it just kinda, instead of just walking into a normal room, it's a fun piece. It's a piece of art almost. Uh, and of course, there's always fun places to put bars. Uh, in houses. I completely agree. Also, there's a separation of space. So right when we walked in, you would have had a little bit of dead space here. Yeah. So it makes it work out. Now, it's not just, you know, just this piece of wood. There's actually amazing stone also in this. If you want to come look in this, really nice. It's a full bar. You got the refrigerator in here. Josh, one of my favorite parts about this house is that indoor-outdoor feel. As you're going to know, we're sitting in the formal living room. All of the walls open on both this side and over there on the kitchen. So you have the pool in the center of the house. It's a very cool focal point. I actually, I've always liked U-shaped houses. It's very cool, private. In fact, there have been many celebs that have been up here, uh, have spent a lot of time here because of the privacy factor, which is really nice. But when you do get to the second level, you do have a big time view. This is a very cool room. It's the formal, of course. Of course. Uh, but it does have beautiful stone. Yep, it's book match, which is when you take two parts of the stone, do it like this, so all the patterns continue throughout. Yes, Let's what do you, you rem remember those uh, books growing up? What do you see? Squint your eyes. So what do you see here, Josh? Well, I can see two of my favorite things. You ready? I can see a heart, because there's a lot of love in this house. And I see a diamond up there. And everybody loves diamonds. There you go. Let's check out the rest of the place. You know what I'm talking about, that book. You like, you squint your eyes. What's fine. it called? Magic Eyebooks. Magic Seeing Eyebooks. If that's wrong, it's Mark's it's fault. It's wrong. Wow. Look at this. I love this formal dining area. It's great again because everything's centralized on the pool outside. You get a great view of the pool. The back area right here also opens up. Again, everything's indoor, outdoor. So they put a bunch of plants out here and at night it's just a very romantic feel. So it's, it's uplit over here. You have some bamboo. And so between when those doors are open and this one's open, it's the ultimate indoor outdoor feel, which is why people move to Los Angeles. Because in Boston, there is no indoor outdoor feel. In fact, the indoor outdoor feel is, hey, I'm inside. Hey, I'm freezing, I'm outside. <laughs> so there's no indoor outdoor. That's what we get in LA. And that's why these two Boston boys move to LA. Absolutely. Nice built in. Uh, you have a couple different bars throughout the house. This is more of a showpiece. Uh, and I do remember there's also one upstairs as well, right? Yep, they do. Yeah, good memory. Right. Uh, breakfast nook over here. What I like about this, again, it has that outdoor, indoor feel. You're sitting here, beautiful chandelier. This is kind of cool. This yeah. could be our thumbnail pick. Let's see it, Mark. All right, we just took our thumbnail pick. We'll see if that one actually makes it. We typically like to take a few thumbnail picks and then choose which ones we like. Now let's bring it into this beautiful kitchen. I love this kitchen. It feels like it's brand new. Yeah, I mean, the house is kept immaculately, which is important. You've got a great counter here. I like these chairs too, by the way. Everything is potentially available to the buyer if they want to buy the furniture as well. It could be available for the right price. 
What I like about this is, you know, I hang out in the kitchen a lot at our house and I always like a living room type of room open to whatever, to the kitchen, wherever you are in a house. So it's really, this is where everybody's gonna hang. This is what I like to say, the heart and the soul of the house. I love this because you can be here, kids can be over in the other living room and you can actually see all the way through. There you go. Hey, to all you parents out here, this is actually the ultimate parent house. That's how we should market this because you literally can see anywhere in the house standing right here. Dining room, formal living, informal living, pool, kitchen. You even got a bedroom up there. I it's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> Let's talk about appliances. Hey, if you're in the market for appliances, this you have it. no idea how expensive they are these days. It's really crazy. From when we got started in real estate to where they are now. But when we got started, we used to buy used appliances. So that's why it was a little bit different. That's true. And we used to uh, actually just, we used to take camels to our listings because it was before automobiles. Just kidding. We haven't, we're not that old. But I can make that joke because you know what this week is? My birthday. 45 motherfucking years old. <laughs> These appliances are beautiful. I love this. In fact, uh, I like the color scheme of this. I usually don't see it in the, in the, uh, Gray, so yeah. it's a very cool look. What a great area. Sit here, have some lunch, have some breakfast, and get on the couch watching TV. <laughs> I mean, you got everything right here. Yeah, you do. So the 7,800 square feet or so of this house, it's really generously proportioned throughout, which I like. You almost have the same exact size dining room, same exact living room over there. So you don't feel like any spaces are just not up to par with other spaces. I mean, this is amazing. This is cool. You want to talk about the pool here? It's infinity edge. And usually when you're seeing infinity edge, it's going off a waterfall right here. It's become a piece of art. So I love this. You got the hot tub behind Josh. I love how it's the raised infinity. You actually don't see this a lot because it's way more expensive to do this than of course, just regular absolutely, pool. Absolutely. And yeah. that's another feature is when we're showing it to people, you know, when somebody spends the money to do this, you know that they're not skimping in any area. You know, we're in this house and it's just meant to be all open. The sun just came out. Believe it or not, we did have a rainy day yesterday. Now you get the feeling in this house. We just wanted to give you proof of the difference of what it felt like. Look at this. Are you kidding me? This house is amazing. You can but go be in the living room. I'll be in the dining room. And we could just have a normal conversation. It's, I mean, how cool is this when it's all open? The 7,800 square feet, actually it ends up feeling more like 12,000 feet. I agree. It's because this because such a central location in the house that all of a sudden you're hanging out, you've got sun everywhere. Yeah. I love this house. So nice. And why don't we go check out the owner suite upstairs? Come on, let's go see the view. This is what people pay for in the bird streets. When you come upstairs, the first thing you're gonna notice before we go into the owner's suite is a great sitting area. I love this room. What right? a cool room. Usually when you have a sitting area like this, it's smaller and it's right off of the bedroom, but this really is a nice living space. You've got the views of downtown. Right this there. is why it's a nice living space. Come on over here, Mark. Come check this out. There we go, LA, baby. You got a great view of the pool above, which is really nice. Everything in this house is, just gives you that dramatic feel. What's very cool about this are these doors, which if you close them, Josh, yep. you're not in the same room, but hey, you don't even really realize that this is here. So you've got two great bookshelves. It's all book mash. It's a nice way to hide this. So when it's open, it's just a hallway. Yeah. But when it's closed, you have stuff on these bookshelves. You don't even realize what you're walking into. I like the hidden doors. There's not, a, 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 there's not enough hidden doors in our listings. I agree. You know? We should bring back hidden doors. The theme of this house is there are bars everywhere. You know, you got another wet bar up here. So, oh yes. Isn't that a cool bar? Yeah, I don't know how to describe the word tranquil, but that's it right there. Look at this. Outside wow. makes you feel like you are in Hawaii right wow. now. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? So you take a shower, you're on a call, it's a peaceful time. Kaka, 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 kaka. This is like that moment of peace and tranquility right here, which I love. They have, of course, landscaped this beautifully. Look at that tub. Yeah, really nice bathroom. Look at the stone in here, I love it. It's actually a, a beautiful piece, super neutral, and you have the skylight and it's book match. These are fun throughout the house, right? these lights. Yeah, they are awesome. Yeah, all the chandeliers throughout the house are really cool. You have two different sink areas. I know what you're about, Josh. You're about the view. I'm a view guy. So let's check this view out, shall we? You got dual closets. Yeah, that's right. On so both sides. That yep. would be Matt's. This would be this Josh's. Would be mine. Yeah, oh, that would be yours. Are you kidding me? What? 
That would be yours. That would be mine, the bigger one, Josh for has, sure. Josh has twice as many clothes as I do. Matt came to my house the other day, so what don't you like in your closet? We have a situation in our family, most kids get hand-me-downs, but when your brother is a very fancy dresser, you get hand-me-ups. That's right, what so, up? We so, shout out 11T. 11T. Who, uh, yeah, most of my entire wardrobe is 11T. Uh, Most of my wardrobe is used 11 days. <laughs> Check so, this out. Amazing owner's suite right here. Look at the We view. just had the trees trimmed, by the way. I want you to know they were all the way up. You were looking dead on ocean views right there. Oh, really? Yeah. Look, I look at this view different, and you do probably uh, different than anybody who's watching this video. Because I look at this view seeing not only all the Altman Brothers sales that we've had up oh, in Dominion That's what I was going to say. I look at the sales first. I see one of my old houses up here that I lived in with Heather when we had Lexi. And then, of course, you look at some of the, the front rows of, of, of Robin and Nightingale. These are 50, 60, 70 million yeah. dollar houses you're looking at, which is, listen, that's what you get up here. That's who you're surrounding yourself with when you live in Doheny Estates. And then again, you're looking at downtown Century City. So you have these beautiful buildings and the entire ocean back there. On a good day, you can see Catalina. On a bad day, you can just be happy because you're living in a dope house. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. You've got this patio right here. Mark, look up there. What This is what's interesting about this house is you have no neighbors behind you. In fact, that is all of your land. You own street to street. Because I looked at plans and potentially this seller was thinking about putting a guest house up there. Why are they called the bird streets? Well, Matt, that's a great question because every street up here is named after a bird. Really? Yeah, which makes me a bird expert. Ask me to name seven birds. Please do. Well, that's pretty easy because- Robin. Robin. Nightingale. Mockingbird. <laughs> Swallow. Them. Flicker. Oriole. Oriole, yeah. Blue Jay. It is like we are bird experts. That was the whole owner suite plus that extra bonus bedroom, which could be for a baby. Office. Office, it could be an extra closet. So you have two over there. Yep. And then over here, you have three more bedrooms and they're actually really generously sized. Do you wanna show? Let's go to this one. Come on. This bedroom is very similar to the owner's suite. It would be considered a junior suite. You do have incredible views, beautiful patio, also ensuite bathroom and closet. I mean, it's a really good size. Also what I like are the bedrooms aren't too far away. Check this out. So we have another bedroom over here. This is beautiful. Uh, I actually love this furniture. I love this wood bed, uh, this built in really nice, but another really good size. And then you get to see, we're at the top of Doheny Estates here. Yeah, look at the mountain right there. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, and what's cool about this is we're at the end of a cul-de-sac. Uh, so you don't get any cars that are driving by or anything. I agree. Why don't we go check out the movie theater? To the movies. What's your favorite movie? This sculpture, it's so cool you can't even see it. This piece, priceless. I will tell you, you match with that area very well. The color scheme here. Maybe I, I am the art. It's moving art. <laughs> so you have a great gym right there, which I like. Right next to the movie theater. This is one of the most tasteful movie theaters I've seen. First of all, I love the seating. I love yes. the way they have different areas. You can put your phones, your candy. And it's also light. So many times, Josh, when we see movie theaters, they're dark. Yeah. And I'm starting to see this trend and I like it more. It becomes a more usable room for when you're not using a movie. What a it's, great way yeah, to sit. It's less of a theater, even though the sound in here is insane as you can hear. Yeah. And it's more of just a family TV room. I love this. All right, well, that's it. Thank you for taking the tour with my brother, Matt and I of the Altman Brothers newest listing. So make sure you check it out, 1860 North Doheny. We're on the market for 11.5 million. And I have a feeling this is gonna be sold before you see this video. That's right, five beds, eight baths, 7,800 square feet. Doheny Estates, that's like the mic drop place to live. Thanks for hanging with us and uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next one. Let's go, let's go! Woo!